Hi, TK Viper Tech here, and today we're going to look at another 3-axis gimbal for action cameras. Last time I reviewed the Inky Falcon, but today we're looking at the Hohem iSteady Pro 4. I'm not sure this gimbal has any more features than the Pro 3. I just know that it works with the GoPro 10. Okay, let's take a look at the box here. At the bottom it tells you it has a 3600 milliamp battery that gives you 14 hours of operation. And you can use it as a power bank to charge your phones and also your action camera. It is splash proof, easy to install, and can control GoPros wirelessly. The included accessories are written here, but we'll go through them in this video. So let's unbox this. As you can see, the box is packed pretty full, and that's because inside it comes with an extremely high quality carrying case. It is padded, it will protect everything inside, all the accessories, the gimbal, even if you drop it, this thing should protect it. So bravo for uh, including this Hohem. So let's open this up and check out everything inside. The first thing you'll find is a very thick manual and that's because it has about six or seven languages. The first few pages are in English and you'll learn how to control the gimbal, how to set up your camera or even to connect GoPros wirelessly to this gimbal so that the buttons on this gimbal can control the operation of your GoPro cameras. Here is a warranty card with numbers to call if you have problems, QR code on the other side to download the app and ways to set up the GoPro so that you can use the buttons on the gimbal to record and stop recording. It comes with a charging cable, USB-C to USB-A, very nice, and a mini tripod. These three wires here uh, let you charge your action camera off of the gimbal. On top of the gimbal, we have a mini USB port, and they include three wires, uh, so you can charge a whole range of cameras. So here is the gimbal. As you can see, it is quite big. The handle is about six inches long and it's much thicker one good point about having a longer handle is that you won't accidentally push a button when you're holding the gimbal they both have triggers on the back uh, power button mode button a joystick and also a charging port the inky doesn't come with a cover for the usb charging port whereas the hohem iSteady does so that's why it's splash proof all right, now let's focus on this gimbal. So we have a joystick, a switch here that I'll talk about later. We have a mode changing button, a power button, and some LED indicators. On the other side, we have a silicon cover for the ports. USB-A, so you can use this gimbal as a power bank for your phone or for your other accessories. A USB-C port to charge the gimbal itself. We also have a shoe here, a threaded shoe, so you can mount something else here like a uh, LED light or a microphone. So that's another good point about this gimbal over the Inky Falcon. Let's look at the construction. Everything is made from plastic or rubber. So even the, the parts where the motors are at. We have another button here. You can connect an optional remote control. And another port here, mini USB port, so you can charge your action camera while you're using the gimbal. So let's look at the construction comparison. Uh, this is aluminum, so it feels a little bit more premium. You also use a cage to mount the camera. Uh, the Hohem iSteady 4 is made from plastic. And because of that, the weight is about the same, even though the Falcon is much smaller. Okay, so with this system, we're using a latch instead of a cage to lock in your cameras. So just pull this up like this, and then the arm will come out just like that okay and now we get a action camera here this action uh, from DJI is quite small as you can see there's a lot of space okay so we just put this uh, like this against the gimbal and then we just put the arm over the camera and then close the latch just pull this this thing is stretchable there's a spring inside so I'll latch it and then the camera should be pretty stable this gimbal can handle a bigger camera like the GoPro 10 uh, but a bad point about this gimbal is that you're not going to be able to access the full LCD because there is some areas where it's covered here are four lights to indicate which mode you're in 
Now let's turn on the gimbal. Hold down the power button for about half a second. You'll see the indicator lights there turn on. Now the camera is stable. Anytime you're off center, if you're at a weird angle, you can go back to the center just by double squeezing the trigger on the back. So double squeeze and you're back in the center. We're in the first mode here. Uh, that means uh, only one axis is free to move. So this tilt axis is locked. You can keep moving this and it, it'll keep shooting straight. In this mode, only the pan axis will follow you around. So if you turn left and right, the camera will pan with you. The roll axis is also locked, so you'll have a horizontally leveled image. The second mode, we will unlock the tilt axis. So this way, if you're moving up and down, the camera will also move up and down. Okay, the pan axis is still free, only the roll axis is locked. The third mode locks all the axes, so no matter how you twist, turn, roll, tilt the gimbal itself, your camera will stay shooting at the same direction. So in this mode, your trigger and also your joystick are disabled. They don't work. You cannot recenter your camera. It'll shoot straight, and that's it. The fourth mode is the follow mode, and this will let you move all the axes. You can roll like this and the camera will follow you. You can tilt, you can pan, everything is unlocked. Let's check out the rotation limits. So going left and right we can go up to 540 degrees. So 360 there and then another 180. Okay going up and down I think it goes from here 360. Now the last switch we haven't talked about is for adjusting the roll axis. Sometimes you just cannot get the camera to calibrate correctly so you're not horizontally leveled. You can use this switch to adjust 30 degrees either way. Very nice feature. Now let's take a look at some GoPro only features. So once you connect your GoPro to the gimbal you can use the record button to switch between photo and camera modes by double tapping it and then you can record by tapping the button here. Next, let's talk about some bad points about this gimbal. First of all, there's no selfie mode. You have to manually turn the camera around or turn the gimbal around. And even then, it doesn't really follow you smoothly. Sometimes it malfunctions like this. So not so cool. All right, now let's check out the software that comes with this iSteady Pro 4. As soon as you turn it on, you're asked to pair the device there are four choices down there. The first tab is to go to the control panel and now you can remotely control your gimbal with your iPhone or your Android phone. We can move the joystick around. We have a recenter button. We have a button to flip between photo and video mode if you have a GoPro and a shutter button for your GoPros. We also have a battery indicator and information about how much you're tilting, panning or rolling your device. Last, motion lapse. Here we can set different points. So just move your camera or your gimbal around, tap the plus button to add a point. I'm gonna add three points. Sometimes if your points are too close together, you'll get this warning here, just tap and confirm. I'm gonna do three points and then I'm gonna set the duration to be 30 seconds. You can set up to six hours. So when you're done, tap on next and then choose the duration and it's going to move from point 0.1 to point 0.2 to point 0.3 in 30 seconds, giving you that motion lapse effect. So just set your camera on time lapse mode, and this gimbal will give you a motion lapse effect. That is something that is lacking in the Inky Falcon app. The last thing on this page are the four buttons to switch between the four modes that we already talked about. Now going to the settings page, you can set almost everything here. Joystick speed, follow speed, dead area, trim, some advanced settings. You can reverse the joystick directions. Uh, so here we can adjust the motor's torsion. And we can enable and disable uh, the power bank to charge your action cameras from the top end of the gimbal. And hit the more button. And here is where you will learn how to upgrade the firmware. So follow the directions and you can update to the latest firmware for your gimbal. 
And finally, to calibrate the gimbal, the second tab right there, I'm not going to do it here because the gimbal works fine. You just have to follow the direction to let the gimbal do its thing and it will balance your gimbal out for you. And that's for the app. And now time for some tests. We're at night time and this is when the gimbal is very necessary. So here you can see it's shaky, unusable image. Now we're using the Hohem iSteady Pro 4. Looks much better. Rock steady or hyper smooth is off. We're just using the gimbal to balance and stabilize the footage. Now we're using the Inky Falcon and the image is equally nice, equally smooth. I don't see a big difference between the two. But if I had to pick one, I'd say the iSteady Pro 4 is a tad smoother and doesn't have as many left and right jerks. The second test is running in a better lit area without a gimbal. The footage is again unusable. Here we're using the Hohem iSteady Pro 4. Rocksteady off HDR mode. Looks great. And now the Inky Falcon will perform just as well. So at night time, you definitely want a gimbal for your action cameras. And the third test is to pan around. Let's see how smooth they are. We're using the iSteady Pro 4 first. Looks great. Next, the Inky Falcon. Looks smooth as well. So obviously with the gimbal, you're going to be able to pan smoother and have a leveled image. The last test at nighttime is the motion lapse. I'm using the app, set three points, and have the camera or the gimbal do the work of moving the camera around for me. So obviously this is much smoother than using my hand to pan around. It's time for 30 seconds. Again, you can set it up to six hours. So you have you can have a very nice motion lapse by the time you wake up. TK Viper Tech here and today we're testing the new Hohem iSteady Pro 4 3 axis gimbal for action cameras. I'll be using my DJI Osmo Action on this walk in Yokohama toward Chinatown, the biggest Chinatown in Japan. And this video will give you an idea of how well the gimbal performs. In the daytime I have Rocksteady turned on, that is the camera's built-in image stabilization system. So you're not going to notice a big difference because Rocksteady is extremely effective. It's going to be smooth whether or not we have a gimbal attached. Okay, But uh, panning the camera left and right, up and down, it's going to be a lot more gradual, smoother because the motor on the gimbal will slow down your turns. However, the last part of this video will be walking at nighttime, and that is when Rocksteady doesn't work so well. Okay, I'm going to have Rocksteady turned off because I also have HDR mode turned on. When that's on, Rocksteady is turned off automatically. Alright, I hope you enjoy this walk. It's going to give you an idea of what Chinatown in Japan looks like and also show you how well this gimbal works.
So my final thoughts on these two gimbals. I like them both. The Falcon is smaller, more compact, has more shooting modes, but the Hoham comes with more accessories, is a bit smoother when you're filming, and also has a better app to go with it. What a dilemma to choose between these two. The Hoham right now is on sale, 20% uh, off. I think it's $80, usually it's $100. And the Falcon is $120, I think, so that's a bit more expensive. In the end, it comes down to personal preference. If you want something small that fits in your pocket easily and you don't really care about an app, then the Falcon makes sense. It has more shooting modes and has a higher build quality. But on the other hand, if you really need the motion lapse feature in the app and you like the accessories, like the carrying case, I would suggest you get the Hoham iSteady Pro 4. It's cheaper and it's a bit smoother. Alright, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.